Good morning. My name is Mike White. I am with Vision 33. And today we're going to take a look at creating a dashboard from scratch. To start the process, we need a query. Now let's, let's first look at our business case. I'm going to open up the main menu in SAP. And in the sales and AR area, there's an area called sales reports. In the sales reports, there is a really nice backlog report. Now, wouldn't it be great to be able to take this data in the backlog report and turn it into a dashboard? So, um, what we'll do is let's first start by creating our own variation of a backlog report. The way that these dashboards and key performance indicators work is they're all based off of user-defined queries. So, in order to create a new query, it's really simple. You've got a couple of tools that you can use. I prefer the query generator, although if you know absolutely nothing about SQL, the query wizard might be a better choice for you. But I think you'll see the query generator is, is really easy to use, and it probably takes about 10 minutes to learn uh, if you've never seen it before. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. Let's start with the query generator. So I'm going to go into the query generator. And when I hit my tab key, this brings up a list of tables. Now these tables are organized out of the box here by the table name. So user-defined tables begin with an at sign, and they'll show up first. And so I can scroll through this list, and I can see all of the tables in SAP. Well, what I like to do is I like to sort by description. Because if I want to create a backlog report, that's going to be based off of sales data. So if I key in sales, I instantly get a list of all my sales-related tables. So that's a nice little shortcut to use to, to real quickly help identify the, the table name. I want to see the sales employee. I want to see the data from the sales order table and the sales order line items. So let's go ahead and, and choose those tables. Now, there's another table I would like to grab. Um, if you know the table name, you can add it in right here. It's called the, uh, the item master table. So I'm going to key in OITM, which is the item master table. And you can see SAP automatically brought that in and, and joined that for me. And then there's another table I'd like to add. And I also want to see information. It wouldn't be neat to see backlog by item group. And so let's do a search for item group. And in here we see there is the item groups table, OITB. So I could have entered in OITB but we just did a search.